Hello everyone, I'm Tresser44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Mist 4 Revelation. Last episode, I am trying my best to try and get oh, this all straightened out. These memories. <sighs> has to be a way. See how round? has to be a way to organize these properly. Okay, I need to get the green up to the top there. Then I need to swap around the blue. I'll swap around the blue and the yellow. So if I can somehow do that here... Okay, that's there. Now... Excuse me. If I do this... I think I may be close. That should be that. Okay. Now I need to put these in the right place. I need to get that out from the middle. I'm close. Wait, maybe... See this clue? This is really frustrating trying to figure this out. I got these two here, but they're in the wrong order! Uh, 
this is frustrating. Wait a minute, I think I got it. That goes... Oh, damn it, I didn't quite get it. Urgh. put this over here for now and hope I can fix this and these are in order father I think this may be able to get it. Or not. Damn it! This just twisted the whole damn thing over again. How the hell? <sighs> this is so frustrating. Now I'm back into this mix up. Wait, I think maybe I finally have it. Yes, I finally have it. There we go. See this globe, little sister? See how round and smooth Finally. the idea it is? When I turn the switch, the chair you're sitting in will activate. Lights will go on. And everything that's you will be sucked out of your body leaving behind the perfect disguise for me to step into. Father and mother will teach you the art, never knowing it's really me who's doing the learning. Of course, I'll kill them as soon as I know how to write ages. 
Then I'll put my new memories back in my body, and no one will be able to stop me. Okay then, please tell me I don't have to do another one. I have a feeling I do. No, that's it! Okay, good. And Cirrus vanishes off. You're free. You have done well, Traveler. The one you know as Yisha has rediscovered her waking mind. Even now, she begins to return there. The interloper cannot follow her. The strands of dream close in on him, and without a guide to shield him, he will be completely crushed under their weight. Return now to your waking life. Thank you. Until the next time you wish to travel in dream. Which likely will not happen again. Thank you, guide. Okay, I'm going blind. Well, I'm back. taking Isha to Tay. She's all right. She really is a strong little girl. But uh, she's going to need time. She loved Akinar and, and Cirrus very much. God, this is hard. It's as if a door inside me is closed despite everything I'd done to keep it open. But in a way, maybe that's good. My sons may be gone, but my daughter is safe. And now Catherine and I can give her all the love and attention she'll need to move on with her life. Just as we must move on with ours. Endings are just another form of beginning, I guess. The harder an end is to face, the more hope we bring with us to the next beginning.
and so roll the credits. So, I've heard people say that they don't care very much for Mist 4. A few people, anyway. Friends of the like. And I can kind of see where they're coming from. Now, a good part of it was good. Everything in Taman at the beginning, that was good. I loved how they really showed how you and Atris have been friends for a very long time. They did a very good job with that beginning. For Haven and Spire, they were very good ages. I enjoyed them. Yes, I did have to look in a walkthrough for one or two things, but that was only because I didn't want to be completely blindly stumbling around with no idea what to do for a while. With Spire, it was apparently because 7 and 1 does not equal 6 and 2. No, 6 and 1 does not equal 7 and 2 in the case of the, uh, the thing that was it's going on there. And with, ha and with Haven, it was just a way through was just not visible. So that, that was just blindness on my part. Selenia. At first, I was just confused because it felt like I wasn't supposed to be there. Then, it ended up feeling so railroady and directed. You weren't necessarily clear on where you were supposed to go, and it had to be, you had to go to these certain places, which you'd already been to, at this certain time. It didn't matter. If you'd already been there, you had to be there at a certain time, in a certain order. Then you come to the dream world, which is just... <sighs> I understand that the idea behind Ages is you can write anything, and this is... This can be, in a way... It can theoretically be made. It didn't quite feel right, though. The whole mystical, spiritual thing, it doesn't feel right to a mist game, in my opinion. So it just kind of felt strange, especially when we got to that last puzzle, which... It's not like most puzzles in mist games. It feels... odd. Wrong. Like that not... Like that not... Like that's... That shouldn't be in a mist game. And finally, there's, honestly, just the fact at the beginning that Sears and Aknar came back. Originally, the Mist Games, they were trapped in trap books. They weren't trapped in ages. It, it feels like it kind of broke a few things, the fact that they added that. And Sears and Aknar were not forever trapped. No, 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 they, they could have gotten out at any time. They were just trapped in ages, not trapped in trap books, which... No, no. It just didn't feel right. And the only other thing I have to say is a bit of the acting. Now, I'm not I'm not an expert, so I can't always tell with acting whether it's good or not. There have been plenty of times where people have said, Oh, the acting's horrible, or oh, the acting's good. And of the characters, Catherine and Atris were fine. Atris is, as he's always been, he's not bad. Catherine, all we heard was her voice, but I think it seemed fine from what I remember. Yisha, she's a child actor, and it's shown that she's not really an actor. She wasn't that great, but I can let it slide because she's a child actor. Cirrus, as an actor, did fairly alright. I didn't see much of a problem with him. But Akinar, my god, he was not good. I'm sorry, but whoever was doing the acting for Akinar, and I missed it in the credits here, he just... It didn't work out. I, I, I didn't believe it at all, and I knew I was just working, watching an actor. I, I'm sorry. And the actors who were all the various wit guardians were just... And the spirituals, they were fine. Just... I don't know. I can see why people say that Mist 4 isn't that great. 
and I sympathize a bit. Like I said, I enjoyed Haven and Spire. They were beautiful, wonderful ages, and I loved them. But Selenia just... It really took things down for me. So that's the end of Mist 4, and the actual solid end for Cirrus and Akinar. We will never have to deal with anything related to them again. Now, you'd think I'd be going on to Mist 5 now, because obviously it's Mist 5. It's the next game in the series. But I'm not going to. Because it's... While it is the fifth Mist game, it's a sequel to Uru, in a way. So I have to play Uru first, and I shall. Uru is going to be a long one, I think. And I, but, on the plus side, I know it very well, so I'll be able to not get as stupidly blindly lost for a lot of it. But it is a large game, so I'm going to be going on to that. And one more thing. Uru was made as the multiplayer version of... You know what? I'm not actually going to get into the whole thing. All I'll say is, I'm not going to be doing Uru Complete Edition. Provided it works, I'll be doing Uru Live. Which I think is a better version, for a few reasons. That said, we're going to do that next time. Till then, I am Chester44. This has been Mist 4 Revelation. And I shall see you all next time.